and a program that provides clean needles to drug users in Madison County could now be in jeopardy. Supporters of the needle exchange say it pushes addicts toward getting help, but others argue it just encourages their addiction. For earlier tonight, our Emily Longnecker was in Madison County where that proposal is up for debate and it could mean an end to the program's funding. Well, Andrea, there's a debate raging tonight in Madison County over the county's needle exchange program for drug addicts. It's been around for two years, and those who support it say it's cut down on the number of drug overdoses. But now some on the county council say funding for the program should end. The debate brought out a standing room only crowd at tonight's county council meeting where a proposal was introduced to stop the program from getting any more private or state money to operate. I want to end the funding for this program. County Health Department employees say the program is about controlling the spread of diseases like HIV and hepatitis C. You know, we don't like this whole needle exchange program. Nobody loves it, nobody likes it. I mean, our participants don't want to be addicts, so why can't I mean, in the meantime, let's just get this infection piece under control. Community health professionals testified about what they believe is the need for such a program. Are we about resolution? Are we about prevention? Or are we about persecution and just saying we can't tell people? I don't know. But I will tell you, our numbers are getting smaller and smaller. Others in the community told the council they felt like the program enabled addicts to keep feeding their habit. I hear all this uh, talk about preventing AIDS preventing hepatitis in drug users. What about the kids that's picking up these needles? Uh, before the exchange program, I never seen a needle on a street, ever, anywhere. Others could see both sides of the issue and agree on one thing. Let's agree on that. We don't have an answer to prevent drug abuse. That is a society at large problem. And the debate on this needle exchange program is far from over. Both sides very passionate about what they think about continuing to fund this program. A vote by the county council could come as early as next month. Andrea?